Hello. So this is going to be part of a short series within this these tutorials about how to make the lira play well with others. Um, the question kind of came up, like, you know, does the lira work outside of its own context? Because, um, you know, obviously it can fill up an entire ambient track by itself. Um, but, you know, maybe some people have trouble with tuning, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I think this is part of a larger conversation of, you know, don't believe everything anybody sa everybody says on the internet, including me, because um, we can only talk to you from our own experience. Um, so I'm going to show you mine and hopefully leave this open-ended enough that it will give you some ideas on, you know, your way that you would mix this with other instruments. Uh, so this first video, we're going to talk about drones and using this as a melody. Um, so we're going to get like a simple melodic fragment. Um, I find with the lyra, you can get like three, maybe four notes. Um, and it's nice. Um, so, you know, first caveat to this is that you would never do this. I mean, you could do this live, but every instrument I have has very different gain structure. Um, so it's been a challenge to get these to mix together volume wise. Um, certainly they work together pitch wise, but um, and timbre, but you know, like I have a bukla running and it's a thousand times louder than the lira. Um, so I've had to do some acrobatics um, with mixing to get them closer in gain structure. Uh, so let's just start. Um, we're gonna start with this sound. So that's our lira sound. And then I'm gonna just balance all the volumes against this. Um, so first is grandmother bass drone. play well nice what they play well enough together in terms of pitch um, here's a CSL drone okay. and another CSL drone okay and then we'll add in this is a surge oscillator and this is a Dixie 2 down um, you'll hear I'm gonna bring the bukla in and out this this that's the sound so just a little ostinato there and I'm gonna play the lyra
Okay, so I hope that gives you, you know, a peek into what's possible. Um, there's another composer. I need to find his name. I've seen him, like, you know, if you practice these tuning knobs enough, you can really, like, play three and four note melodies. Um, so I hope that helps, and we'll look at another way to integrate this into a more of, like, an electronic setup um, in the next video. Take care.